So let's open the Copa underscore calc. And what we want to do here is right before we send this to the aggregation, let's join this particular decision table. So let's pull that out and delete it. I'm deleting the connection between the union and the aggregation. And we need the decision table called customer category. Right, so a decision table, you cannot drag and drop from, uh, from this folder. You need to actually go to the schema six underscore bi and pull up the actual object. So since, since this is not actually a physical table by itself, you need to do this. So this is where all the objects are available and we are looking for customer underscore category. All right. So here we have customer underscore category. Okay. So you see that these are the different columns, underlying columns we have and this is basically the object so naturally we want to project on top of it so let's get a projection node let's join them okay so now you can choose what kind of columns you want so we want mandate and kndnr to join we don't need b001 because we already have it all we need is customer type Okay, so to in, in, in order to join the union and projection, we will have to use a join function. All right, so let's pull up a join here. So we are running out of some space. Let's drag these down. Let's drag this out here. Okay, and then this join will be right about here. So you understand the different levels here all right so let's create this join across the union and over the projection 3 which is containing the underlying table now here we need to create the joints so mandate to mandate and KUNNR to KNDNR that's about it and we want to add all of these columns to the output and we only want customer type from this table all right wonderful so now we push this to aggregation so we'll add all of these to the output okay wonderful when we go to the semantics just make sure what is the type assigned and everything looks fine so if you come down here we have customer type, it is a dimension, which is correct. All right, let's activate it. It's working fine. And let's go ahead and do the data preview. All right. Now let's say that we want to understand the customer type. There you go. So you can understand the net revenue of the different customers here. Your enterprise customers are bringing in so much. Your large customers are bringing in so much. Your medium customers are bringing in so much. And your starter customers are bringing you so much. And there are various ways you can understand what's happening. In this case, I have brought in the customer type and the name of the customer. And then I have then we have net revenue sum. So here you can see what is the type of the customers. For example, if you want to understand a specific name, naturally you can filter. So you can see that Aerospace is an enterprise customer, Amadeus is an enterprise customer, and you know you can see that who is what kind of customer. So we did not know this before. So now it's very easy to understand know who our customer types are because we brought in that specific rule okay and it's very easy from this point as well to filter 
if you just want to see large customers and if you just wanted to see enterprise customers it's very easy to filter it right now let's go back to the decision table and actually I'll show you the uh, the best part about it is you can change this logic at any time and for example if you change your policies if your sales organizations change or if any of those things happen you can always change these uh, these parameters you can add more rules and things like that so when you create a decision table like this there is no physical table as such created it's just a object which is simulated at runtime so that is the beauty of a decision table